Sister Wives stars and siblings Podden Brown and Gwendolyn Brown have a long-standing feud that has only worsened. Peyton was only 12, and his sister Gwendolyn was 8 when they made their Sister Wives debut during the show's first season. Over the years, fans have watched them grow into young adults, but their relationship has also changed dramatically. From being raised in the same family, sharing food, toys, and memories as they grew, nowadays, Gwendolyn and Pyden cannot even stand the mention of each other's names nor the sight of one another. With the last few seasons of the show focusing primarily on the relationship dynamics between Christine Cody and her new marriage to husband David Woolley, much attention has not been given to the long-term and often very public feud going on in her household between her children Peyton and Gwendolyn. Since their feud became public in 2020, Gwendolyn and Pyden have relentlessly attacked each other publicly at any given opportunity and even reportedly refused to attend family events if they both had to be present. The feud was expected to dissipate as Gwendolyn and Pyden became older, sadly, it only looks to be worsening. Peyton and Gwendolyn's feud has been going on for years, and their frequent outbursts at each other often make it seem almost impossible to think the two are direct siblings and were once very close. Although it's unclear when the feud started or what started it, Peyton and Gwendolyn don't look to be reconciling anytime soon. The siblings' egos and stubbornness seem to have added more layers to their feud, which makes it too hard to find a way back. For one, Gwendolyn's bisexuality seems to be a significant issue between the two. According to Gwendolyn, Peyton abused her as a child, and although their mother, Christine knew she didn't do enough to stop Peyton's behavior and had indulged him for years. Gwendolyn has accused her brother of being sexist via different social media posts, and instead of having constructive conversations with her, Peyton often resorts to mocking his sister. Gwendolyn and Peyton's egos have also led to the pair often refusing to attend family events where either will be present. Their stubbornness has also led to the breakdown of their relationship with others within the family, as Gwendolyn isn't close to their mother, Christine, and Peyton is estranged from some of the siblings. One of the most notable events of the year 2020 was the Black Lives Matter protests that happened after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis while in police custody. Cody and Mary's son Leon formerly Maria, and their fiancé, Audrey Chris, supported the movement. However, not everyone within the Brown family felt the same way. Peyton, who was in the army, took to his Instagram page to post. After seeing screenshots of the messages exchanged between Peyton and the fan, Wenlin commended the fan for handling the conversation. Via the Ashley Reality Roundup, Peyton had made comments like more white people get killed by cops every year than black people, to which Gwendolyn tweeted, talking with racists is painful and he sounded like an idiot. Good job. Meanwhile, after a fan told Peyton about Gwendolyn's comments, he replied, Thanks. I will still protect her until my dying day. Gwendolyn was one of the most notable absentees from her mother's wedding to her new husband, David Woolley, in October 2023. Gwendolyn's decision to skip the event immediately raised speculation within the Sister Wives fanbase, as many believed her feud with brother Peyton possibly played a considerable part. Meanwhile, Wenlin was also not on good terms with Chrysatine, according to some of the videos she made on Patreon. In these videos, Wenlin criticizes Christine for playing up her divorce from Cody for the cameras and for allowing producers to turn her wedding into a drama between Cody and David. Wenlin's Patreon video also touched on her relationship with Peyton and Christine, Wenlin claimed that Christine favors Peyton over all of her other children. According to Gwendolyn, Peyton abused her as a child, and although their mother, Christine knew she didn't do enough to stop Peyton's behavior and still indulged him years later. After the wedding, Wenlin during an appearance on Patreon explained she wasn't at the wedding because she was just too busy. Fans who have followed her strained relationship with both Christine and Pyden understand why Gwenlyn conveniently skipped the wedding even if she refused to admit it. During an interview on YouTube with blogger John Yates, Pyden criticized his sister Gwenlyn for cutting off most of the family members for being racists and homophobes, 
noting sarcastically, yes, we are all sexist, racist homophobes. But because I'm a white male and a soldier, I'm sexist. Peyton's comments infuriated Gwendolyn, who reacted via video on Patreon where she claimed Peyton was still the sexist, homophobic, transphobic, racist, violent abuser that he has always been for several years. Wenlin had accused Peyton of questioning her bisexuality, implying that she was faking her sexual connection to both sexes for attention. In her response, Wenlin called Peyton the most awful person she'd ever had the displeasure of knowing. Be a Yahoo. Meanwhile, Peyton also has a strained relationship with sibling Leon, who is trans. In 2020, when a fan asked Peyton to check on Leon, who still went by Maria, over their Black Lives Matter comments. Peyton replied, I love Maria very much, but we can't stand each other. Meanwhile, Wendland's accusations about Peyton being transphobic also hint at his feud with Leon. Wendland and Peyton's feud has lasted for years, but hopefully, the siblings will share the sister wives' screen again. However, Cody Brown has loved his hair more than his wives. He has always been obsessed with his looks and takes special care of it. However, his rum and noodle locks have been a source of jokes and memes for years. Fans used to make fun of the way he carried them and paid attention to them. After all this, Cody debuted with a new look. Viewers were in shock when they recently saw him with his new crazy perm. But it appears that the celeb is loving his brand new makeover and he is flaunting his perms confidently. What is this all about? Cody Brown could give up on anything but not his hair. He has always been conscious about his looks, especially his hair. Hence, some of his ex-wives were even jealous of the way he paid more attention to his curls than them. However, now it appears that the celeb wanted to upgrade his iconic ramen noodle hair and tried something new. Without a crystal ball recently shared the latest picture of Cody with his new crazy perm look. The page revealed, Cody's perm is back on Cameo. It further explained how the celeb was actually giving a hair tutorial. Cody decided to disclose the secret mantra of getting his beautiful curls and made a whole video on it. Fans were in disbelief and wondered if Cody was in his right mind or not. This is because his hair appeared to be way more frizzy and shabby than before. But that's not all. Several viewers predicted that Cody had a secret hair transplant. Apparently, his hair seemed to be really voluminous and bulky, which convinced fans that he had some extra hair. Cody Brown underwent a hair transplant. Many of them explained that there was no way he could have this kind of volume after bleaching his hair and then getting perms. They believed that the celeb got some extra hair, which resulted in his fresh and bulky hair. But Cody's recent picture has stirred the pot again regarding his alleged surgeries. Some critics pointed out Cody's lips. They noted that his lips appeared to be way more plumb than they ever had been during his entire life. Hence, fans are convinced that the celeb secretly got lip fillers to enhance his looks. Moreover, Cody's wrinkles also seemed to be blurred out which further ignited Botox rumors. While some fans argued that these changes could be because of some filter, others are sure that he did get under the knife. Moreover, considering Cody's obsession with looking good, there is a fair chance that he considered undergoing some cosmetic surgeries just to maintain his youth. However, these are mere speculations and viewers are waiting for Cody to speak 